Hello friends, welcome to class. Thank you for always watching and following. All right, so in today's uh, lesson, we want to look at the topic decimals. Remember that uh, for this series, we have been looking at um, topics that prepare students towards the YEC examination. Okay, so and we've seen fractions. So here is decimals. All right, so now uh, when it comes to decimals, there are a number of things that you expected to know. One of them is how to convert fractions to decimals. So for instance, one can say, uh, you know, change 3 over 4 to fractions. So it's a very simple thing to do. Okay, so we can use long division to do this. We can also use short division. If we want to use short division, for instance, 4 divide 30 it cannot go so what do you do you put zero point whenever you divide and it doesn't go you put zero point and then you now add zero so now you divide again 4 divide 30 you are going to get 7 okay so you put 7 sorry you are going to get 7 7 remainder 2 Okay, because 4 will divide 28 to give you 7. And now again, 4 divide 2, it cannot go. Now, you are not going to put another decimal point because you already have a decimal point here. So what do you do? You just go ahead and add 0. So 4 into 20 will now give you 5. So you have 0 0.75 as your solution. So uh, let's take this as one example. Now, secondly, assume that you have something like 8 all over 5. So what do you do? Well, I'm still going to use short division. 5 into 8 is going to give us 1, 1. Now that will be remainder 3. Okay, so 5 into 3, that cannot go. So you put decimal point and then you now have uh, you now add zero so five into 30 now will give you six and then there is no remainder so that means your answer is 1.6 all right so this is how to handle conversion of fractions to decimals that like i said that's one of the things you're going to expect under decimals now meanwhile what is a decimal is just expressing a fraction in the form where you have decimal points okay so and then there is usually a whole number part and the fractional part okay so now other things you expected to do under decimals is addition that's the normal basic operations all right addition of decimals subtraction of decimals multiplication of decimals and division of decimals these are regular yec area of concentration especially multiplication and division of decimals which we are going to see all those three questions are actually wired past questions all right so we are going to see it and then more examples so let's go simplify the following now when it comes to addition and subtraction you are expected to know just how to arrange them i know that you already used to addition of normal numbers that are not uh, decimal so it's the same process just the arrangement and what is the pattern of arrangement all right so the pattern only allows you to arrange from the decimal point okay so look at this i have 0 0.678 okay so that means that if i want to put this one under it i should start from the decimal point so i'll start here zero point and then i'll have seven will come under six and then 4 will come under 7, and then I have 2. So the other 9 will stand alone. So it's not that this 9 will start under 8. No. So your decimal points must be on a single line. And then finally, remember this is addition, while the other one is subtraction. So I have 0 point also. So this place that is empty, you can choose to fill it up with what? Zero. That's allowed. All right. And then you go on and do your um, addition and subtraction. So the first two is addition. Then the last is subtraction. So zero plus nine is nine minus five is four. This plus this is 10, minus 0 is 10, so you have 0 carry 1. This is 8 plus this is 12, minus 2 is 10, 0 carry 1. 
this is 7 plus this is 14 minus 8 is 6 then bring down your decimal point if you do this one you have zero so this becomes the solution for this so and then i would like you to do number two now that means you're doing subtraction before this but you can choose to rearrange it and then you will have your answer so let's go over to number three number three remember your board mass i've already talked about that so here you expected to take the brackets first so we are to add this first before subtracting from this in other words you can just add this and then add this and you do your subtraction so quickly let's do that okay then now these two should come together so you can choose to um do a kind of solving this one first so maybe we should do that here two six three then one point seven three seven okay so in doing that this is addition so this is 10 0 carry 1 10 again 0 carry 1 this is 10 again 0 carry 1 this one is you put your decimal point this is 10 again carry 1 so it's just 10 so that means you are only subtracting 10 you can choose to put the point 0 0 0 if you want okay so at that point we can now go remember you can fill here with zero so here we have this is eight minus zero eight this is four minus zero four this is eleven minus zero eleven we write one carry one so put your decimal point this is nine so we have nine this one is ten zero carry sorry we are subtracting okay so this one is nine this is okay so here we have nine minus one and that is eight all right and that is the solution to that particular example so that's how to do addition of um, fractions okay and subtraction of fractions so quickly let's go over to the other example we have there so this is division now i'm going to be teaching you something that is very beautiful when it comes to division of decimals and you must pay attention to it now what is that thing that you're going to do 0 0.1 is the same thing as just write the whole number part after the decimal point so one there then put all over then put one below and then count the number of digits after the decimal point here we have one so you just add only one zero so 0 0.1 is the same as one over ten all right what about 0 0.001 so check the number after the decimal point is one also 001 which is still one all over one count one two three so you have three zeros so your 0 0.001 is one all over 1000 let's use the one down here as another example there we have 0 0.375 so that's the same thing as after the decimal point we have 375 all over you put your one three digits so you have three zeros all right so that's exactly what you're going to be doing so if we come here we are going to have one all over ten that's the one up then divided by the one down is one all over one thousand okay and you are done so you remember what we said under division of fractions you change this to multiplication and that will give you 1000 all over one okay of course zero here will cancel zero so your answer is simply equal to 100 this is going to be 675 over 100 from the method i just showed you here then multiply by this one will be 75 over over 10 then divided by so from here now you are going to now have so change your division to multiplication so you have 675 over one thousand sorry over 100 multiplied by 75 over 10 now multiplied by 1000 all over 375 beautiful so what do you get from there now 
this zero will take away this zero two zeros will go away here and so you just have this now i think 75 can divide 375 to give us five beautiful and then again finally five into six is equal to one uh, carry uh, one so that's 17 5 into 17 is 3 remember 2 carry the 2 that's 25 and 5 into 25 is 5 so you have 135 as the solution for this okay and then we go over to the sixth example let me bring it up here quickly for this example we are going to look at first of all how do you raise a decimal number to a power there's a very simple trick i'm going to give you about that very simple ordinarily for instance if you have 0 0.2 raised to power 2 it is supposed to be 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 which is going to give you 2 over 10 from what i just taught you multiplied by 2 over 10 which is equal to 4 over 100 and by the time for division of fractions you know how we take it back so you take this thing back one two that's the number of zeros and then you fill here by zero which is going to give us 0 0.04 all right so here is the trick i want you to see in doing this so you have 0 0.2 to the power of two now the number of decimal places here is one so just multiply it by the power that will give you the number of decimal places you're supposed to get in the exponent that you're going to get here so now see what you're going to do now very simple you just put your zero point so because already you know that it's going to be zero point something but in this case you're going to have two digits that's two decimal places all right and then here you have just two after the decimal point so pick out that number and square it so if you square this two you will get four now it is only one digit so because it's not up to the number of digits you need here so you start the first digit with zero and then bring the four here so this is 0 0.2 to the power of two so no matter what it is so if i now have something like let's say 0 0.4 to the power of two now it is still one decimal place here that means the solution is goes is also going to be two decimal places so i will bring out the four that's the number after the decimal point and square it i will have 16 and 16 is two digits so very beautiful so you just come here and put 0 0.16 and that's your solution okay so that's the way to go now the implication is that if i now have okay so the decimal the number of decimal places here is still one so i would take that one multiply by the power so you're expected to have three decimal places in the answer so here you have your zero point now pick the two raise it to the power of three and then that is eight so just one digit so that means you're going to add two zeros before that eight okay so i hope you've learned something from there so let's go into it so that means that's going to give us 0 0.08 then multiplied by 30 all over now i've already done that one below so that is 0 0.16 very beautiful so we now have to simplify what we have up there now recall that whenever you multiply a decimal number by a whole number that has zero so you can use the zero to cancel one decimal place okay so if i have them um, like now i have 0 0.08 so this one zero will bring the decimal points to the front it will cancel one decimal place so you are going to have now 0 0.08 now multiplied by three all over 0 0.16 then recall what we did there instead of wasting that time you could have just done okay now we've already expressed it so you just do 0 0.08 in that approach is 8 over 100 then multiplied by 3 you can put that 3 as 3 over 1 then divided by here you will have 16 over 100 okay so we would have just done that here 8 over 1000 and so on okay so and you are done so change this to multiplication you have 8 over 100 
multiply by 3 over 1, multiply by 100 over 16. This 100, we take away this 100. And so here I have 8, can take away 16 to give 2. So you just have only 3 over 2 left as your solution. Okay, so and that is the solution to this problem. Now we are going to end this video here. However, there's going to be a part two on decimals where we'll solve more questions that are also YEC past questions. All right, and that will give you a broader view of problems to see on decimals. You, you can, can check the exercise section for exercises and assignments. Now, also recall that there is one that I have here. All right, so we will see you in the next class. Bye.